Hey guys, it's Janine P. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Also, go follow me on all my social media at J-I-M-I-P underscore. We are only on Instagram and Twitter. So make sure y'all go follow me on there. It is nighttime, and as you can also tell by the title, I am doing a get unready with me chit chat, get unready with me about confidence and everything else. I felt like this was a good like way to speak on like confidence building and just confidence in general and like dealing with anxiety and bullying and just just all of that wrapped up into one. I literally had the longest day ever and the devil has been trying girl but I'm not gonna let him get to me as y'all shouldn't either. I have my mirror right here because I was doing um I was taking pictures for Instagram, so listen, your girl is literally getting ready for bed. Like, I had my roby robe on, I'm about to cook me something to eat, eat, okay? So yeah, let's get into this video. I think my favorite ooh, part of the day, I take my lashes off, oh my God, look. <laughs> I love my lashes, they literally make a huge difference. Okay, so my lashes are all okay. I was wearing this out SBH, by the way. Oh, and don't judge me, y'all. I'm using coconut oil to take my makeup off because I ran out of makeup wipes. So don't judge me. Anyway, so somebody a long, long time ago asked me to do a video about confidence. So let me just start off. This is going to be like a bit of a story time, too. So I want to say back when I was a little girl, um, I want to say like fifth grade, I've always had like really, really bad acne. And most of the time my acne was really due to um, like me stressing and I, cause I'm a Virgo and all we do is stress. Even at like in the fifth grade, like what the hell did I have to stress about? I had really, really bad anxiety. So um, like I just would like mess with my face so much to the point where though I would like leave scars on my face. and. It was just really, really bad. So that was going on for a very long time, like all the way up until, I wanna say maybe a year ago, like it was bad. Um, so like I used to get bullied a lot, like all the time. I remember specifically like I was in, uh, I was in middle school and um, it was sixth grade and this guy, um, I think I had a fever and I was like, I was like, oh my God, like I'm hot. I was like, feel my, um, my head, like tell me if I'm hot. And he was like, he went to go like put his hand on my head to feel my head. And he was scared to touch my forehead. Cause like, I was like, I was just breaking out really, really bad. And it looked, it, it was just that bad. Like he was scared to put his hand to my face. I'm just like, oh my God. So, you know, that was just really, really like a hard time for me. And, um, I just always felt so ugly and, um, there was also a time where I was like, you know, I would consider myself fat and like overweight as like, you know, a kid, like we had baby fat, we were babies. So, um, I was just always really insecure. Look at my page, y'all. I was just really insecure. Um, oh, look at that. Makeup. Like, you know, in middle school, like, you know, I remember I was like on like the monkey gyms one time and, um, somebody was like, um. Uh, they told me not to get on the monkey bars because I was gonna break them. I was just like, yo, kids are so mean. So, you know, of course that just made me feel like I was like this big, huge, humongous pig. I was on the phone one time and I was on three-way, like, you know, back in the day when three-way was, like, three was like a thing. And um, my friend that I was on the phone with, my friend that I was on the phone with, she had put a guy on the phone and she told me not to say nothing. So he didn't know I was on the phone and um, she had asked him about me because I think I had liked him and he was like, she had said, so like, what do you think about Jimmy? And, um, it, he was like, uh, she cool, she got a fat butt. And then he was like, she only got a fat butt because she's fat. And I'm just like, fast forward to, um, I want to say, uh, high school. So in high school, like. I was never like the, you know, there was, I went to a good school. So there were like a mixture of like, you know, poor kids and then like really wealthy kids. So, you know, I didn't fall under wealthy. So obviously ooh, my thing coming up, y'all, <laughs> I didn't fall under wealthy. So, um, you know, I didn't have much literally growing up, but, um, especially like in high school and stuff. So 
you know, kids would have like, you know, all the new Uggs and like back when coach shoes were in style and all that good stuff. And you know, me, I didn't have any of that. So I remember one time I had bought some fake Uggs. My mom had bought me some fake Uggs. And my mother didn't know anything about Uggs, but I knew about Uggs. And I was just like, I want those shoes right there. She like, why you want them ugly things? And I'm like, I want them, I want them. So of course, being my mom, she bought them for me. And I had went to school and I remember people were just like looking at me all weird. And I'm just like, my stupid ass, I'm just trying to like fit in dead so i'm just trying to like fit in and everything so i'll go out and buy the uggs just to get bullied about the uggs after the fact i remember i was on, on my way home one time i had i like baltimore city kids caught public transportation back and forth from school to home so um i was on my way home and i heard like a few like a couple girls behind me talking about like my uggs i'm just like wow like that's so embarrassing. So of course, I literally never wore them again. That was the end of that. Okay, sorry y'all, my camera died, but I did go ahead and wash my face off. I just used um, some regular Dove soap to wash my face. I feel like that has really helped me with, you know, my face clearing up because I'm not using a bunch of like products. It's just literally Dove soap. So I'm about to go in with my Pure um, Tropics Jungle Clay Mask. I love this clay mask so much. It has this weird smell to it. Like this really weird smell, but it works wonders. When I like wash it off, it legit like feels like my face is like a baby's butt, okay? Anyway, so back to what I was saying. Aside from like the, um, my face is breaking out real bad, y'all. Oh my God, did I say that already? Cause it is. Anyway, um, and I remember like I would just break out a lot in high school. And um, people would like, you know, come up to me and just ask me like, you know, like what's that on your face? Like, bitch, you know what it is, it's acne. Like, get on my face, like, ugh. So it was just a lot. And I just felt really, really ugly for a long time. And then I got a boyfriend and that did not make it any better because, um, we were young and he cheated a lot. But honestly, I felt like that made me really insecure because I felt like, um, you know, he kept cheating. I'm like, okay, well, like, what is it about me that you don't like? Like, I know there's something wrong with me. So I went through that phase. You know, every girl goes through the phase of like, it must be me, like, what did I do wrong type of thing. And um, it wasn't, by the way, really bad. My boob is out, y'all. Why didn't y'all tell me? This is real raw for y'all right now, okay? I'm giving y'all the raw Jimmy. So I usually do a mask at night, especially after makeup, because especially when I'm breaking out and after makeup, because I just need my face to like detox. Like, girl, get yourself together because we don't have time for this. So um, I wanna say probably about senior year of high school, I was like, you know, I started learning how to do makeup a little bit. And I remember when I had first started learning how to do makeup and my mom had actually got me my first makeup, it was eyeshadow. And then I had went, this is when I, um, eyebrows was like coming in style. So um, I tried to do my eyebrows one time and I used a pencil that was way too dark for, my, for me. I'm like light bright. And the girl at my school was like, she walked up to me and she was like, listen, Eyebrows aren't for everybody. And I'm like, no, this bitch did not. I don't know much about makeup like the rest of the school doesn't know much about makeup. I went to an all girls school, mind you. And um, ever since that day, I kind of took it, like for a minute I was like, oh my God, I'm never doing eyebrows ever again. But makeup, I don't want to do it, no. And then something had happened one day, and I think it was like a senior year, and um, one of my old best friends, she, something was going on in school basically. I'll do a story time about it, but it was so messy. But I was, me and a group of my friends were in some things, like in something in school and we were like clashing. So it was like this big old beef between like our group. Like it was like beef in, in our own group. And um, one day the girls that we were beefing with came up to me <clears throat> and was like, you know, asking me questions and I'm telling them and everything. And then they went up to the girl that was my best friend, asked her something. 
And then she came up to me by herself and was like, listen, like, you need to start speaking up for yourself. You can't just, you know, just be letting everybody run over top of you, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, you know what, you're right. So ever since like that day, I like stopped, I stopped really caring like about what people had to say and I like really started to stand up for myself. So um, I was like, I'ma learn how to do makeup and I'ma learn, I'ma learn good and I'm like, nobody's ever gonna be able to say nothing to me. So I remember I went home and I was just watching a bunch of YouTube videos like what to get, how to do your eyebrows, blah, blah, blah. So I think it was a Leah J, honestly, I think it was. And I went to MAC and I had bought my first eyebrow, like real loud eyebrow, dip brow pomade. And I did my eyebrows and I learned and I learned and I learned and I was slaying eyebrows. I mean slaying. Eyebrows was the first thing I learned how to do. Slay a brow. You could not tell me nothing. I knew how to slay my eyebrows. I'll insert a picture. Your girl's eyebrows was slay, okay? And then the girl Kelly, I had to give a shout out to her because she actually helped me like learn really how to do eyebrows too. And I'm so proud of myself because I was gonna give up doing makeup. I was like, I don't wanna do makeup. Like, no, like that really broke my heart. Like somebody like, you know, came up to me and said that to me. I'm just like, you know, like, we weren't, we were cool, but we weren't friends. Like, you know, I just thought that was really mean. So, um, ever since that day, like I just like, you know, I just kept, I just started standing up for myself and being more outspoken. I was really shy and like quiet. And I started speaking up for myself. Fast forward, I wanna say to college, and I really just started to learn myself. And people like were starting to like me, like, you know, like be my friend and like boys were like, you know, starting to like me and stuff. And I just was like, okay, like, okay, like maybe I'm not ugly. And then that's when the stage of me make, having everybody else's opinions in a good way affect me though, which still is bad. Like, whether somebody tells you you're pretty or whether somebody tells you you're ugly, you shouldn't give a fuck what anybody thinks. So I went through that stage of like people telling me that I was pretty. So it came to a point where I would come to school, I would be like all dressed up in makeup and shit. And um, when people didn't tell me I was pretty, I felt like I was ugly. So I would like hide from everybody. It was just so stupid. I was so dumb. But I just, I don't know how to explain it, but I really just stopped giving a fuck about what anybody thought because I remember I just couldn't please everybody. And I'm a pleaser, so I just kept trying to please everybody. Like, I just wanted to like look pretty and like, you know, just like, just please everybody. Like, my hair will never be how you bitches want my hair to be. My face will never be how you bitches want my face to be. Like, n like my clothes, my shoes, like nothing I ever do will please you hoes. So therefore, Fuck you hoes. Like, I want to please myself. So that's what I just started to do. Like, I just, whatever made me happy is what I did. Really, when I was, like, in my junior year of college, I was I was feeling myself. I just knew I was that bitch, and nobody could tell me any different. I remember when I was a freshman, sophomore in college, I used to never not have on makeup. And then junior year, I transferred to Telus, so I'm like, bitch, I'm not wearing makeup to school, period. I'm already stressed out enough. I don't want to wear makeup to school. So I didn't wanna make up the school. Um, and people would see me in real life and they would be like, you know, they'll follow me on Instagram and they'll be like, like, you know, you don't look like how you look on Instagram. I'm just like, yeah, that's the whole fucking point. Like, I'm not gonna look how I look with makeup on, period. And that doesn't make me ugly because I don't look how I look with makeup on. I feel like if you look how you look with makeup on, you're doing something wrong. Cause you're supposed to look different with makeup on not like completely different but you're not supposed to look exactly the same like i just don't know who came up with that fucking concept that you're supposed to look exactly the same with or without makeup on that's just dumb like no that's not the case i joined this super sorority and i'm not going to get into that but long story short they made me realize i don't give a fuck about anyone's acceptance that was the day 100% I was like, fuck you hoes. Like, please excuse my language. It's gonna be a lot of cussing in this video. F you bitches. Like, I just literally stopped caring because it didn't matter what I did. I could befriend you hoes. I could, um, you know, talk to you bitches. I could, we could literally all have the same thing in common. Literally, the sorority was what we had in common and you hoes still didn't like me. For what? No reason. People literally don't like you because they, like, I don't even know what the word to call it. I hate saying people are jealous or people are hating, but 
people don't like you literally just because just because literally just because and me i'm just like the person that sit there and be like why don't they like me let me fix it so they can like me and it's just like that is when i found my confidence when i literally i literally was like i don't care i don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck bitch. the act of not giving a fuck is so powerful you literally will transform your life once you stop caring about what people think and i just remember me being younger and everybody was just like stop caring what people think and i'm just like it's not that easy it isn't that easy but literally when you stop caring about what people think it is the best like feeling in the world i'm not just saying that to like you know be like a clown i'm saying like that in general like in my heart like the feeling that i had knowing that i will walk outside with any with with whatever i want to wear however my hair is with, with or without makeup i know i look good because i say i look good and i don't give a fuck what anybody else thinks i would rather die knowing that i was internally happy than to know that i I did everything in my power to make everybody else happy. Because I can't do anything to make everybody in the world happy, but I know I can do everything in my power to make myself happy. So that, I just took that and I was like, wow, like, I don't know, it's like a self-revelation day. I just feel like you really gotta sit down, talk with God, talk with yourself, and really learn yourself to build confidence. Um, you know, you just sit in the mirror every day like I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty. Like you're beautiful, you're beautiful, you're beautiful, you're beautiful. Um, you know, you're a great person, you're an amazing person. Like every day just like looking in the mirror to myself and just saying how beautiful I was. And another thing that really helped me was YouTube. Me being on YouTube and just seeing myself like on YouTube, I'm just like, you know, I'm a bomb person. Like I'm bomb. And that really helped me build my confidence as well. And I just want y'all to take that and put it in your heart and let yourself know it's not you, baby. It's them. I promise you. And bitches will always try to knock you down because they are intimidated by you, whether it be by the slightest bit of thing. It could even be your potential. The fact that you could be something holes will hate and try to knock you down trying to dim your light because they don't want you to be what you are going to be so just think of that be extremely confident in yourself because confidence what is it Ext excludes extrudes excludes whatever the word is confidence comes out of you so when you show confidence people will see your confidence and it's like a like a punching bag like, like not even a punching bag it was like punches so whenever somebody tries to like throw dags at you showing your confidence is like knocking it out don't even let that shit hit you knock that shit out the way that shit ain't hit me <laughs> period that shit ain't hit me ho and i still battle with like not caring what people think every day but it went from me going months of thinking about what people think about me and caring about what people think about me to now it's like a split second like for a second i'll be like oh my god i wonder what people would think and then i'm like bitch i don't give a fuck be like i'll post that picture i'll wear that outfit i'll do my hair like this i'll do that i honestly don't give a fuck. i'm about to go wash my face off okay because we done had this face mask on Okay, honey. This is my get unready with me. My makeup is all off. Um, my wig is damn near off, and that is all. Like y'all sharing with me that y'all go through a lot of what I go through. So that has also helped me build my confidence. So um, I feel like if y'all left, you know, something down in the comments to let everybody know, like you know, you are alone in this situation, or I'm going through this too, or whatever the case may be. Leave it down in the comments because I know a lot of people would like to see that because they a lot of people just need to know like they aren't alone in a situation and um, I feel like that helps build confidence too if that makes sense and that helps with like anxiety it just helps people get through stuff so thanks so much for watching this video y'all um, it literally was just me talking and I hope it made sense and I hope that helped y'all I don't know build confidence in a way I don't know or just anything, you know. I hope it did something. So I'll see y'all in my next video.